Yeah, sure, I'll take that. And leave. We dealt with that group. So, I'm gonna have to do one more rest. Because I always like to have an extra haste on hand. How is... Okay. I just want to state one thing. This, this is round four level. This is round four level. How is constricting coils the same level as hold monster when it, it does it, and when it does more than hold monster? That, I don't understand. Yeah, there are... Pick for you, stuff I'd probably want to do. Just probably another one of them. What's my save DC? 17. So I kind of doubt that. No, actually, you know what? Hold on. I think I'll just do another one of those and that way that way we if we run if we run into multiple fights I wouldn't have any issues like these I wouldn't have any issues actually no no I do want one I do want one of those all right, there's that alchemist nothing's changing here nothing's changing a release from paralysis that's that's actually perfectly fine okay, you i don't think i'm changing anything on you you i don't think i'm changing at changing anything on you that greater restoration. Okay. Oh boy, that's actually a lot of corruption. Oh, wow. Ooh. I like Monster Casserole. That seems good. There's Midnight Soup. Oh, okay. Um. Uh. I'll take that. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, wait, hold on. 
Arrival of a mysterious visitor. A lady who arrived in Dresden for trade-related reasons has requested a private audience. She claims to have connections with one of the commander's retinue. <clears throat> Say what? I have it quick saved, so let's teleport to Dresden real quick so I can see what this is about. Just so I can see what this is about. An old half-elf woman uh, bows to you. She is uh, stately, dis uh, stately despite her years. With gray strands in her carefully combed hair and a graceful figure, Rhea Neath, representatives of the Firadazzle and co-trading house in your, at your service. Oh, I have a former offer from the merchants of Dresden regarding the uh, procurement of construction materials and a more personal matter, which I'm afraid only you can help with. Rhea Neath's business card? Uh, do you want to trade here? Yes, for a while, I have brought samples of what our trade house has to offer. If you need something, you will easily find me in the fortress. But to be honest, I can discuss supplies with your subordinates. What kind of uh, what kind of personal matter? I would prefer not to talk about it here. Please find me in the fortress. Then, we can, and then we'll talk. All right, I'll find you when I have time. Thank you. Seeking forgiveness. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Rhea Neath, a sales representative. Okay. What is this personal matter you want to, wanted to discuss with me? I, oh, I've said this in my head so many times, and now that I actually have to say it, I can't put two words together. I want to talk to you about, uh, talk to my son very much, but, he, but he's avoiding me. I know you are friends, or at least he listens to you. If only you could convince him to at least approach me. Just a minute. What's your son's name? I know no one by the name of Neath. Oh, of course, forgive me. Neath is not a real family name. Exactly. My husband didn't have it, didn't have any at all. Is he... Lo she, She's Lon's mother. And neither did I. We took the name of the village he lived in. My son's name is Lon. He knows I'm here and is hiding from me. I can't blame him, but I might never have another chance to make amends and tell him I love him. Why doesn't Lon want to see you? Isn't it obvious I gave up and abandoned him the day his father and I decided to go our separate ways? Now that was that. He must resent me or hate me. My Maybe he's ashamed of me. Or maybe he is wiser than me. Some children shouldn't meet their mothers. There's no point in reopening old wounds, but I still want to see him so much. Now, half elf married a monger. How did that happen? When it comes to love, does it matter who you are? Not really. I mean, look at me between you know, I mean uh look you know, I mean look at me and uh Arushale. I mean, <clears throat> that's not happened yet. <clears throat> not yet, anyways. Anyways, uh, one day my friends and I were uh, attacked by our rivals. They were in such a hurry to get their plunder. They didn't even finish us off. They just threw us into a well. I ended up in the mongrel tunnels. Kin was, and Kin was young and curious. Luckily, our boots interested him less than we did. Oh, my tiefling of the Sozeal is an example. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> that was probably a sign that our marriage wouldn't be a happy one. And, okay, uh, he he brought me back to life. I screamed and stabbed him. 
<laughs> oh, what? Ow. Ow. And still we love... <laughs> happy one. <laughs> that was probably a sign that our marriage wouldn't be a happy one. And still we loved each other. We took care... He took care of me and was always ready to make me laugh. He was optimistic, but not the most driven man. I, on the other contrary, was too driven. I dragged him to the surface. I believed that uh, back then I could move mountains if I just wanted it, wanted it hard enough, but it didn't work out. Why did you abandon your son? Because I broke, gave up, convinced myself that it was our decision, my, not mm, that it was our decision, not my decision, that it would be better for everyone. I'm not sure if Lon told you, but had other children besides him. Yeah, uh, yeah, she did. They were different. All of them were special and all were missing something. They just couldn't survive. The last one was born in pieces and I realized he would be the last one. I just knew it. I didn't need any healers to tell me that. After that, it's like I sank into a black hole. I saw, I saw Kin grieve. I saw Lon struggle to find a place for himself. The neighbors felt no pity for us when they heard of our struggles. They accused of us, accused us of worshiping demons, llamas to anyone, and I realized, I realized I was to blame for all of it, for making Kin go up to the surface, for deciding to have children with him, no matter what, for appearing in Kin's life, having lawn, and for what, so he could suffer. When Kin and I discussed it. He said he would take our son and go to the go to his tribe. We both thought we were. We were leaving each other of a terrible burden, but uh, at that at least we would make Lon happy because he would grow up among among his own kind. I still ask myself if he if we did the right thing. If Lon doesn't want to see me, well, there was nothing wrong uh, right about it. What kind of mother would could have been her own child? Yes, I agree. All right, I'll find your son. Thank you. This means so much to me. Tell me your wares. Let's see what she's got. Oh. I mean, not bad. Oh. You have something you do not have. The one thing I want. He doesn't have any dino bones. Anyways, let's go talk with... Let's go talk with Lan. Shall we? I'm sure he misses his dear mother. Ah, ah. Ow. Unfortunately, I can't open my mouth up too much anymore. My mom came to see you, Lan. Why don't you want to talk to her? Ah, she got to you, too. He, he, clear, he, he clears his throat. It's not that I don't want to see her. I'm just busy. Hmm, Lon waves his hand vaguely. With, you know, this and that crusader matters, sometimes I feel like a mother of a large brood. And besides, she didn't come here for me. She's here on business. I don't want to distract her. By the way, have you seen her card? I got one, of, I got one from a merchant. Rhea Nith for um, Fira Dazzle and co uh, and co and Company Trading House, nearest in, and embossed in gold and everything. People with gold lettering on their business cards probably don't have time for idle chit chat. I'll bet, I'll bet you need to book an appointment a week in advance. Even if I do, what would we talk about? You think I'm angry at her? I'm not. I never was. She and my dad had it rough. They didn't make it. And that's nobody's fault, but so much time has passed. She and I are just strangers now. If you happen to see her, tell her I've got a lot on my plate right now. Maybe some other time. I know she lives in Nirosian now. Maybe I'll send her a present on her birthday. Oh. I mean... Oh. Bad. Anyways, I'm sorry, but Land doesn't want to see you. 
He is stubborn. I'm not sure if he gets it from me or his father. <clears throat> Please try again, but now Rhea retrieves a package from her bag and opens it to reveal a small striped arrow painted yellow and red with a blue fletching. There, it's an arrow from his very first bow. I made them so bright so they could be easily seen in the grass. I showed him how to shoot. I taught him to train his vision to account for the wind to fix his uh, string. Just take it to him as a souvenir keepsake. Tell him I've never forgotten him. I know Lon won't forgive me, but he should know that at, know that at least. How many times are we going to go back and forth? Jesus. <laughs> this is... This is getting hilarious. Okay, boom, boom, boom. I feel like a damn mess. I feel like a damn delivery owl from Harry Potter. It's just like, I'm back. Hey, send this letter. Ugh. All right, hey, I got a letter for you. Can I eat something? I need to deliver this mother. Son of a. All right, fine. Here you go. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat. I need to deliver you. Son of a freaking picket cow. Anyways, <clears throat> anyways, <laughs> Commander smacks Lynn up to the head. Go see your mom, you stubborn donkey. I know your mom gave me this. She's never forgotten you. She is very sorry. Lon takes the arrow carefully and examines it. This is my toy when I was a kid. It's suddenly he breaks the arrow with his clawed hand and flings it behind his back. That ah, doesn't matter. Not anymore. She made her choice. My dad let her. I don't want to blame her. I have no right to. Sorry, I must have woken up on the wrong side of the bed today. Sitting around Dresden for too long is bad for me. I started getting irritated by the smallest things. I'm always in the best mood when I'm killing demons in the wound. Don't tell her I threw away the arrow. And please tell her I don't want to see her. I will be better for everyone that way. No! Go see her damn mom! Oh, this is so annoying. I re I myself actually really want to smack him upside the head. Give me a damn persuasion check to get him over there. Jesus. <laughs> My God. Oh, Lon. <sighs> he threw away the arrow. All right, all right. It was just a little sentimental piece of wood. That won't change anything. He He's right. He did the right thing. Hey, there he is, Mom. You look... We got him here! <laughs> Persistence works! Stubbornness is awesome! Wait, what? I have no idea what I just said. <clears throat> Anyways... Lon strides up to Rhea and stops as if he's hit an invisible wall. Mom, you look well. And Rhea clenches her fingers so tight her knuckles go white. Lon, you're so tall. I see your entire tribe is here. How was dad? Did he stay down below? He died. Gee, it's just straightforward with it. Oh. I see. Commander, I'm not a messenger boy. I have things to do. You know, like maintaining a crusade. I know, right? <laughs> no, not a messenger boy. A messenger bird. Because apparently I'm floating. God, I really feel like head Hedwig from Harry Potter right now. It's just like, just you can never get a damn break. A little over this message. Deliver this message. Deliver this message. Deliver this message. Deliver this message. Uh, that poor bird if you guys had if you had read I mean if you read the books you would definitely know that Hedwig never really got a break from delivering messages it would always it, it was literally Harry sent Hedwig off to uh, go talk to his uncle and go talk to his godfather godfather serious is like okay I got a message from him hold on okay deliver this And then here we go again. <laughs> that poor bird. Uh 
This is awkward. I think I'm... Is that all you have to say to each other? Why don't you finally reconcile? Because we never fought. I don't understand why this is such a big deal. All right. And we said hello. I've done my um, filial duty. Do you hate Milan? Mom, of course not. I understand. For years, I've blamed myself for you and dad trying to live like a normal family and have more children. If I hadn't given you false hope by being born alive and almost human, grief wouldn't have broken you. If anyone is to blame, it's me. I don't have the right to be angry with you. Stay silent. Bond sighs, gathering his thoughts and turns to you. I can't joke my way through this, can I? Do you want me to turn to my mother and say, Mom, it doesn't matter that my uh, last brother was taken out of you piece, piece by piece. It doesn't matter that, you, mm, that you've been banished from everywhere because of dad and me. None of that matters because a selfish brat wanted to have a mom and still does. Even after growing up into a man? Is that what you want me to say? No, that will never happen. Never. You just... You've already said everything you need to, sweetie. You've never been a selfish brat. Headstrong and a little lazy, maybe, but never selfish. Oh, forgive me. I love you so much, whether you believe it or not. I'm sorry that I wasn't strong enough to be the mother you deserve. Land gives up. His face falls like someone let all the air out of him. I forgive you. I, I love you, too. What I said just now... I went too far. I was so lonely without you and angry at you. At dad. And at myself, mostly. No, most of all. I know, Lon. I'm sorry. You silly little cave... You silly little cave potato. Don't you dare be angry at yourself. I've never regretted having you. Not a single day. You know, I'm leaving soon, but when the war is over, find me in Nerosian. We'll visit your brothers together. I made sure their graves were looked after. Well, do you agree? Long gulps and nods without saying a word. <laughs> I think I have the best son, if not <laughs> the entire worm. They hugged. They did. Can I? I can't buy. Some. Uh, oh well. Whatever. I need to find some damn dino bones. Does anybody know where I can buy some dino bones? Seriously. Great, now that I've gone through that entire endeavor, I gotta go back to the area that I just teleported from. So much for maintaining a stage, Jet. One way or the other. Uh. Still nothing new, huh? Well, damn. Wait, read the log real quick? Read the log? Not the little potato I remember. How come no one has snatched you up and married you yet? Mom, did you know that uh, grown men whose mothers call them little potatoes in the middle of Dresden don't tend to have much luck with ladies? Oh, sorry, dear. Well, <laughs> big potato work. <laughs> I 
love it. Love it. Awkward. Mom. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> no, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta read all this. Uh, I think I have the best time in the world, if not in the entire world, then definitely in Dresden. I'd like to stay longer, and what will they say about you and Legends? Uh, Lon, who went into the crusade with his mommy. I think I have the best time, if not the <laughs> Warriors of Dresden would <laughs> Would you get a load of this? My own mother is humiliating me. <laughs> and of course, you didn't hear me say legend. You've gone so. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Oh, God. Oh, hello. I need to get these guys all the way down here. No! Go back! Oh wow, this is actually a four. This could take this 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 group could actually handle some folks. Now as for this group. Um How long is that going to take? An entire day. Awesome. Oh boy. All right. Let's see what we got to do. Uh, hmm. Enchanting the crest of the fallen knight. Let's get this army going. All right, back up to here. Still nothing. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I will soon be taking care of makeshift lab. A few acres here on flat. Oh. Here's some ingredients for cr uh, creating consumable items here. Okay. So this is just a spot to gain materials. Ravage longhouse. Nice. Logistic reform. Every piece of land that the Crusaders seize from the demons puts additional load on the logistics and supply channels. 
In order to maintain this tight network of experience, officers are required. Oh, okay. Past degree. Okay, the clerics are divided on whether I'll enter Lin was a hero or a blackguard. Some want to pray to good deities for him, others wish to stigmatize his name. 